Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and we're going to jump right in here. This is my January recap. We got a bunch of VRs for a bunch of dudes. We got some care packages from even more dudes, and I'm sure you don't want to look at this face. You want to see some cards and stuff, so let's do it. This is a VR from my very best friend, Eddie, at Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Every year, Eddie puts out a call to hear about feel-good stories in sports. And this year, I want to talk about Carlos Cookie Carrasco. I've always liked this guy. I watched on TV in 2015 as he came within one out of a no-hitter, something that I've always wanted to witness in Cleveland baseball but never have. And then in 2017, I was actually in the stands as he pitched an immaculate inning, which was really awesome. In 2019, he announced he had leukemia. In that same year, we had a bit of a cancer scare in my family too, so it kind of hit home. The All-Star Game was in Cleveland that summer, and they paused the game to do the whole I Stand deal to recognize cancer patients, you know? Your teammates hugging Carlos Carrasco. He's he's in a big fight, but he's a strong guy, and it seems like he's winning that fight. I'm going to go. And all the Indians at the game held up signs that said, I stand with Cookie. And uh, my eyes may have gotten a little watery right then. Everything seems to be fine now with Cookie and my family. Um, he ended up winning the Comeback Player of the Year that same year, and uh, then he was traded to the Mets in 2021 in the Francisco Lindor trade. I was very sad to see him go, but just last week he signed a minor league deal with the Guardians. I'm not really expecting him to have anything left in the tank at this point. He is 36 years old with a long injury history, but I am excited that he's back and it looks like he may retire in Cleveland. This is a VR for a newer best friend, Dan at Cases Loaded. Dan is celebrating 1,000 subs because he's killing it. He wants to see 600 Home Run Club members, and my favorite, of course, is Jim Tomey. Sorry, Al. Um, just some of my favorite Tomey items. Here is some artwork I did, and I had him sign. Here's a signed baseball, a Topps Tech card, and a whole bunch of Bowman rookie cards and an upper deck rookie for good measure. That was easy. Congrats on 1,000 subs, Dan. Keep up the good work, man. This is a VR for another new best friend, John at John P. Collects, who's reached 500 subs. He's got a neat one. John wants to know what cards we would buy if we suddenly found ourselves with 10 grand. Um, I've won money for cards at my LCS a couple of times, and I've tended to try to spend it all on one big card. Uh, not 10 grand big, but my feeling was that I can always buy smaller cards at any time. And I'm rambling and I'm sorry. Anyway, there are three big Cleveland cards that I know I'll never own. So I thought about those first. The 49 Leaf Satchel Page, 33 Gaudi Lajue, and the Cracker Jack Shoeless Joe. But I'm not touching any of those with 10 grand. So I think it would have to be a 49 Bowman Satchel Page, a T206 Cy Young Milkman, and a T205 Addy Joss. None of those are quite $10,000, but I could probably get pretty nice examples of all three for that price. Great idea, John. Thanks for putting that out there. This last VR is from my bestie Darren at Return to Collecting, who is celebrating 600 subs. Darren has a crazy awesome collection, and he wants us to shout out channels with less than 200 subs. So I'll start out with Stephen Beal. Stephen with a PH is from Canada, but I got to hang out with Stephen at a couple card shows last year. He's relatively new to collecting vintage, but he's super enthusiastic and very excited about it, and he has picked up some real bangers. Uh, next is a guy I got to spend some time with at the National last summer, Bob Cooper. Bob has an amazing Jewish collection, and he does a great job presenting Jewish baseball history. Uh, definitely worth a look. And finally, Luke at Bleecker Street Cards. Luke has some absolutely jaw-dropping cards. He collects some really cool signed vintage cards, including quite a few Jackies, and he's working on a signed 49 Leaf set. Not a lot of videos, but wow, they're crazy. And uh, Darren also wants to see our two favorite cards. Nothing most of you haven't seen before, but number two is my signed 59 Tops Destruction Crew. Just an eBay find that Tony Black texted me about when it was up for auction. I put in a real healthy bid because I didn't know if or when I'd see another one. And number one, of course, is the T206 Cy Young Portrait that you all helped me buy in my Grail Quest series, where I earned the money to buy this card by doing commissions. So beyond being a great card, it embodies this YouTube journey, and it's really special. I uh, hope that works for you, Darren. Keep being awesome, buddy. 
Another kind of quick shout out, one of my oldest best friends and strongest supporters, Scott Spaulding. He's been going through a lot lately, and I don't really want to get into all the details of Scott's life because it's not my place. But Scott, if you're watching, I'm thinking of you, buddy. And uh, he's a great guy, and life keeps knocking him down, and he keeps getting right back up with a smile. So if you guys could go over to Scott's channel and leave a nice comment or something, that would be awesome. I got a care package from my bestie Mickey over at Boomslang. This says, Scott, thanks for the cards. Here are some I have been holding for you. Sorry he's not in an Indians uni, but he's one of your guys. Thanks, your best friend Mickey. And check this out. This is my man Alvaro. 92 Tops Gold signed in gold. 92 Ultra signed. 92 Fleer signed. 90 Fleer signed. 91 Ultra signed. 91 Tops signed. 90 Bowman signed. 92 Stadium Club signed. 90 top signed, 91 upper deck signed, 90 upper deck signed, 92 upper deck, you know, signed, 91 score signed, 90 leaf signed, that one's awesome, 92 Donra signed, and 91 Fleer signed. Oh my gosh, Mickey, you knocked it out of the park, dude. These are amazing. Thank you is not enough. I love them. This one's from my BFF, Adam, from Adam's Card Closet. I'm still getting Christmas cards. That's awesome. Happy belated holiday wishes to you and your family. May 2024 be a chipper one. Your bestie, Adam. And Adam included this Emperors of the Zone Bieber, Chrome Platinum Anniversary Bieber, Rocket Arms Bieber, and the sweet red Tops Fire Ramirez. I didn't have any of these. These are so cool, Adam. Thanks, dude. So that's it for now. I got to thank Eddie, Dan, John, and Darren for the fun VRs. Please go check out Scott Spaulding and make him smile. Thanks to Boomslang and Adam's Card Closet for the awesome care packages. And thank you guys for watching. I've got a big announcement coming and I'm really excited about it. So look for that soon. And yeah, now I'll go find a better video to watch and uh, I'll see you real soon.